I'm Thomas Ballantyne with Bulwark Exterminating. This is AJ Richards with K9 Bed Bug Inspectors. Yes. And it's K-9 BedBugInspectors.com. Bug uh, we have in front of us some live bed bugs. So bed yeah, bugs he's alive. do exist <laughs> in Arizona. Uh, we had a uh, home retreated or inspected yesterday. AJ actually does inspections for bed bugs with his dogs. His dogs have been trained to sniff out bed bugs in their scent. A very effective way of, of determining whether you actually have bed bugs or not. Uh, so this little guy right here is ready to feed. And so he's moving around pretty quick. Um, AJ actually has an allergic reaction to bed bugs. He's, he's let them feed on him before. Do you have a, where's your arm still? Yeah, you still see the scarring. This is all scarring right here, the brown. That's that's about two months old, these patches. Over here on this side, <clears throat> that's the latest feeding actually by this guy about two, three weeks ago, so he's hungry. So that's what's left. He hasn't been fed for two to three weeks. And you've got to keep him alive so you can continue to train your dogs. Yep. Yeah, that's what yeah. all these little vials are for. So, at any rate, uh, I know when you go into these houses, you got to be a little freaked out, you know, thinking you might be able to pick some of these up in your shoes or, yeah. or whatnot. Yeah, always, always. So, I mean, I've got to be very careful, not only myself, but my dogs. Right. Like, they get hot, hidden their fur, that kind of thing. So we've got to be real cautious that we don't take them home. I'm, I'm, I can tell you that my wife would not be satisfied with uh, living <laughs> conditions if I brought these guys to the house. So. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to do a video on how quickly a home gets infested. Right. So, in my uh, infinite wisdom, I decided to uh, recommend to AJ that he protect himself. And I believe this will do it. This is bug repellent. Nothing fancy, but... Uh, I was over the to counter, it. typical stuff, huh? Over the counter, typical stuff. Uh, this one doesn't have any DEET in it. Uh, this is a... Fragrance-free uh, Picardin is the active ingredient. So what we're going to do, since this guy is ready to feed, typically if you put him on your arm, he would immediately begin to feed. I'm going to spray my arm down with this, let it dry, and then we're going to put it on my arm and see if uh, see if he actually will uh, try to feed. Do you need to rub it in there a little bit? I need to rub it in there. I can't. Can I use my other hand? Yeah, just don't use your forearm. Okay, we're trying to keep it. Separate, so that uh, I'm actually gonna let it feed on me. I know, kind of gross, but uh, we're gonna use my other arm to see if it'll feed on on me as soon as I put it on the other arm. So, thank goodness that's fragrance free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How you know? looking? Good. So I I find that they like that real meaty part of the forearm. So we're gonna put him right there. And he should go right to it. So if he's if he keeps moving, then uh, he's probably trying to avoid the spray. I would say because anytime I've done it, instantly. And we'll see on your other arm if if uh, that holds true. But yeah, he's not biting. No. Oh oh oh! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Actually, when they bite, you can't even feel it, right? Because they they inject right. their their the saliva on the tip of their little sucker. It has a uh, anticoagulant, so the blood flows freely, and an anesthetic, so you don't feel it. Ooh, kind of tickles actually. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it looks like he's trying to avoid avoid your arm. Should we see what happens on the other one? Yeah. I, I'm pretty happy actually not being bitten right now. So. So um, do you speculate that the um, uh, the the bug repellent is damaging to the uh, bug, or is it just literally a repellent? Uh, I would say my my best, uh, you know, s speculation would be that they're just avoiding it. Yeah, it's I really don't want to do this right now. I really don't want a little vampire stuck in my arm. Look at that, dude. There you go. Ah! Seriously. Straight to eating. Straight. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, you can take them off now. Ah! You can't even fill him. You got <laughs> I know, I know, but I just don't like it sitting there. Thomas, you got to let him fill up. No way, dude. This is gross. You can, just think of it's like a mosquito. No. Yeah. I don't like mosquitoes. You don't I would like squash mosquitoes. it right now. Can I just slap it real quick? No, I need him. That's Are you what, done? Okay. Yeah, I'm done, dude. Okay, I was done five so seconds ago. 
Ah, come on. Thanks. All right, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and feed him because I need him. And then I'll let you guys see. We'll watch and see the, the, the change in the size. But you noticed he wouldn't even leave the paper as soon as he reached it. See? I had to kind of drag him off. See, there we go. Look, drag him off the paper because... He'd already started feeding. He's, he's, he was starting to feed, and um, that actually happens in real life. They don't necessarily crawl on you as much as they will just reach up from the bed. So you'll see people, if they lay on their side, you'll see dots all down their side because they're like he's doing that right there. They're going to just reach up and feed and then walk away so they're in a line. So, um, so it's not like bad manners not to actually sit on the arm, huh? Yeah, it's not bad manners. Okay. So, anyway, I can... He's just trying to be polite. I can yeah. actually feel... No elbows on the table. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually feel him right now, and the camera wouldn't pick it up, but you can see his his uh, little straw-like sucker sticking into my arm. 